This is the Beaker browser, version 0.7. It's not yet been released, but I wanted to share some of the features that we've been building that we're really excited about. The first is the site editor. Any site that's been served by the DAT protocol, which is a cryptographic, decentralized web transport, can be edited directly from the browser. So you click on the site, you click on the edit button, you fork it, which is what I'm doing here, and then you can make changes however you like. You own this site, and you're hosting it from your browser, so there's no server required. You can share that URL, and other users will load it directly from your computer. To make things really convenient, we've included live reloading, which is how my site turned purple there without me having to refresh the page. The next cool feature is Markdown rendering. We love Markdown, and we want to be able to use it natively in our sites without any hassle. So in Beaker 0.7, you can visit a Markdown page and it will render for you. Finally, I want to demonstrate self-modifying sites, and I'll do that with a simple Twitter clone. What we're looking at is what we call a template site. Now I'm going to fork it so that all of its files and software get copied to a site that I own, and then I'm going to make a post. Now what just happened is the site self-modified. It used the web APIs to write that post as a file to its own domain. It's simple and a little bit limited, but it's very fun. If I make another user, I can follow them, and now the two sites are reading each other's feeds, completely peer-to-peer -peer and server-free. Remember how I could modify my site earlier? Well, I can do the same thing here. So now, when other users visit my profile site, they'll see it customized just the way I like. Now that's the beginning of what we have planned for Beaker, and we're really excited to get this into your hands, hopefully by the end of March, so stay tuned.